Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we will override class declarations with inline styles. Um, so we've proven that the ID declaration override class declarations, regardless of where they are declared in your style element CSS. There are other ways that you can override CSS. Do you remember inline styles? Use an inline style to, make, uh, to try to make our H1 element white. Remember, in inline styles, it looks like this. So it shows H1 style color, and it writes it out uh, explicitly there. Leave the blue text and pink text classes on your H1 element. And so what, what, is, what is this thing trying to get us to do? It's trying to get us to go style uh, is equal to, and then we're going to make the color, so uh, green. <laughs> wow. Okay, and so as we can see, it worked. It kind of went crazy there. What happened there? Oh, wow, it printed out the error code inside of there. That's interesting. That's a uh, free code camp specific thing. Anyways, as you can see, the inline style overrides both the ID and the class. That's interesting, right? Uh, if we run the test, we'll see that it passes. Oh, it wants it to be white. Got it. Okay, so as you can see down here, this was uh, uh, an X, meaning it didn't pass. It says that it should be white, but it also says that all these things should be in there. Orange text is in there, blue text, pink text. And so that passes. I was just misunderstanding it because of up here. So what does this mean? This means that we are seeing a cascading style, right? We know that we select the pink and the blue text, and those both are overridden by the orange text because it's an ID selector, but then we're also learning that inline style code um, overrides all three of them. And so if you think about this as like a set of cards, the um, jack would be the class selector, the queen would be the ID, and then the king would be the inline style selector. So uh, yeah, we passed the tests, and I think I hope that this was helpful. Uh, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if there's anything that I can explain uh, to make it clear in the comments below. Thanks. We'll see you in the next lesson.